of understanding that Tom Gilardi is probably the most humble person, yet probably the sole responsible for where our profession of chiropractic, TIC, is today because of the unwavering way that he delivers a chiropractic philosophy and is not being recognized much. And I would like to, out of the consciousness that we have here, to really invite you to send Tom Gilardi your gratitude. If Tom Gilardi hadn't taken the stand that he took with Sherman, Life University would not exist. It is because Tom Gilardi took the fight to the political system that Sid William was able to grow Life University before coming up on their radar. Tom Gilardi deserves incredible credit for the sacrifice and the work that he has put into upholding the principle since BJ died. But my teachers, My teachers were not just amazing. We could go into Spartanburg and witness the reality of what they were talking about in practice. We would visit Earl Taylor, Ly W. Sherman, Don Thomas, some other guys I can't remember. There was a whole slew of them. And we could see the reality of, wow, this is how it's done. And you know what? It was always simple. So simple. Why? Because those people were so deeply grounded in the principle and the philosophy and had clarity about what is it that they do and what is it that they don't do. And at assembly, they would bring in the pioneers. Kitty Scallon, Milton Garfunkel, Seymour Fisher. And I remember Kitty Scallon coming up on stage and there was a little podium like this and Frail coming up, late in age, and she went up, and those pioneers said, we went to jail for chiropractic. The judge asked us a question. You can state that you practice medicine without license, be fined a hundred dollars, and go home to your family. Or you can maintain that you practice chiropractic and go to jail for three years. And my husband and I stood up and said, Your Honor, in all due respect, I practice chiropractic. Three years in jail, four years in jail, away from their families and children. What do you think it did to us, students, and I could only answer for myself. But I thought, those people went to jail? Was it because they thought they had a treatment for backache? I have a treatment for backache. I'll go to jail for four years. Anybody? Any taker? I go to jail because I think I have a better mousetrap. Anybody? I go to jail because I think I have a natural treatment for various illnesses, sickness, and disease. Anybody? Why? What is the reason that any human being through the history of humanity has ever gone to jail willingly? What is the reason? Intangible, invisible principle that could improve the quality of human life. Christ went to jail for love. Mandela for anti-apartheid. Gandhi for non-violence. Cesar Chavez, discrimination. It goes on and on and on. Those people went to jail in our profession for a principle, an invisible, immutable principle that they understood could improve the quality of human life. How many of you in this audience 
would be willing to go to jail today out of what you know about chiropractic. I can tell you that I graduated from school, Sherman, that had no accreditation. We couldn't practice in any state. You know what I did? I went right to South Carolina where we didn't have license, we couldn't be recognized, and practiced in Spartanburg, South Carolina, hoping, hoping to get arrested. I'm a little intense, a little radical maybe.